YouTube, it's Justin AK Demonic Sweaters, and I'm here again with my Alesis Nitro Mesh drum kit. And uh, one of the most common questions that I've been getting about this drum set is, can it do double bass? Now, uh, yes, it can. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can either do it with an actual double bass drum pedal connected to the kick drum pad, or you can do it the way I'm doing it, is by having uh, just the regular kick drum pedal and then assigning a bass drum to the hi-hat pedal. And that's real easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, I have kick drum two, two uh, mapped to my left foot on the hi-hat pedal, and then my bass drum, regular bass drum is right here. So the way I did this is really, really easy. Um, all you have to do first is just pick a kit that you're gonna do it to. So let's go ahead and go I'll start over. I think I don't think I ever saved this one, so let me just go back to kit. Okay, so I'm on kit number 32. This is one of my custom created kits. And uh, as you can see, I have a regular hi-hat pedal here. And then on my kick drum, I have the kick drum. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go onto the module. Geez, I'm dusty here all of a sudden. Go onto the module and then you're gonna press uh, voice, which is here. I have to get my camera down there because it's under the hi-hat. So you're gonna press voice and then just hit the kick drum. And so that way you can see which voice number it actually is. And then we can see it's number five. Now, if we do the, the hi-hat pedal, we can see that that is voice number HCO7. So all we're gonna do, we're just gonna tap the hi-hat pedal again. And then we're just gonna press the up arrow until we go to number five. And then there it is. So you can tell that it's also panned a little bit to the left. So I'm gonna to wanna to fix that too. Go to voice again until I get to pan and put that in the middle. Okay. And that's that, that's all you do. And then you can save the kit uh, if you want and then you'll have double bass drum. And it's pretty cool. You know, the, the only problem for this though is when you have the hi-hat, it's gonna be closed and then if you try to map the hi-hat to an open hi-hat, it does some weird stuff with the bass drum going at the same time. So if you want an open hi-hat going at the same time, I recommend mapping that to like this tom over here, which I have a ride mapped to right now, or you could do it to one of the cymbals. But I like having two crashes, so I keep my ride right there. But a lot of times people will want to do the closed hi-hat when they're doing double bass drum anyways. So it's not that big a deal. Um, for me, that's kind of how I like it. Uh, so I just leave it like that if I want to do double bass. But that's all you need to do. Very, very easy. All right, so that's all you do if you want to map a second bass drum to your hi-hat pedal on the Alesis Nitro Mesh. I'm sure it's the same on uh, the other Alesis uh, Nitros, or other Alesis drum sets, rather, uh, as well. And you could use the same concept on just about any electronic drum set. Uh, it's a great way to add just a second kick drum. And it gives you a lot of options where you don't need to use any extra hardware or anything like that. And then it's cool. You can save it as a custom kit and you can even do like a, a double, you know, you can save the same kit, one with one bass drum and one with this double bass drum if you want the same sound and have the option to have uh, a, two, a double kick uh, kit of the same kit. Uh, you can do that as well. So anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by clicking thumbs up and subscribing. And you can check out my other videos. I have a few other on the Elisa's Nitro Mesh, as well as plenty of other music-related content on my channel. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.